Okay, here we have a um, piecewise function, and this is set up as an application problem. It's actually a very, very real world problem. So the, we're talking about um, figuring up our gas bill, and there are actually several parts to a gas bill. So looking at what we have here, we have a monthly customer charge. Now this is what everybody has to pay no matter what. Whether you use it or don't in a month, it doesn't matter. Everybody pays the 645. Then we have another portion of it here where we pay depending on how many um, how much we use. So the more you use, the cheaper that it is. Then we also have this gas supply charge here, which represents the money that they charge us to deliver it to us. It's not the gas we're using, it's their delivery charge. Okay, so what we're going to do here in part A, it says what is the charge for using 40 therms in a month? Okay, so looking at what we have here, everybody has to pay the 645 no matter what, just because we're a customer. Then we have to figure out how much we owe depending on how much we used. So we're using 40 therms this time. Well, the first 20 we get charged at this rate. Then the next 30, which we're not going to use that much, we get charged at a different rate. Okay, well, keep in mind we said the first 20 we get charged at 0 0.2012. So if I've paid for 20, that means that I've got 20 left that I've not paid for. So that's get paid, get, that gets paid for at the 0.1117 rate. So that would be 20 more therms at 0.1117. Now we've paid for all 40 of our units of gas, our therms of gas. Now finally we have to pay this gas supply charge and that we pay no matter how much we've used. So we use 40 therms. We have to pay for that at 0.7268 per therm. Now we can put this in our calculator and we can multiply and add it all together and we should get 4178. So your bill would be $41.78. Alright, now let's try that again, but this time we're going to be charged for 202 therms. So we want to see how different that would be. Okay, first of all we're paying our monthly customer charge of 645 no matter what. Then the first 20 we have to pay at this rate, the 0 0.2012. Now if, if we've paid for 20 therms and we used 202, that means we still have 182 that we've not paid for yet. Well the next 30 we get charged at this rate, so plus 30 at 0 0.1117. Now this means now that we've been charged for 50 therms, we still have 152 that we've not paid for yet. Everything over 50 gets charged at this different rate. So we still have to pay for 152 therms at the 0 .0374 rate. Now we've paid for every bit of our gas, but now we have to pay for our delivery charge. So all 202 therms we have to pay for at the 0.7268 amount. Now that it's all written out, we can just use our calculator to multiply and add all of those things. We should end up with $166.32. Now I'm not going to go through and construct the function or graph it. If you wanted to, you really could, but um, especially as far as my classes, that's where we stay. So I'm, I'm really more interested in you being able to uh, you do the application problem um, and we'll graph in other types of piecewise functions.